Hey guys, Dave from Nerdarchy here for Nerds by Nerds, hanging out with some of the crew. And I'm Ted. I'm Nate. And uh, today we want to talk about warlocks and crossing over to the good side. Yeah, so, where's the good patrons, yo? All right, so you, you get, you know, what, what do we have here as, as our options? We've got, you know, the great old one, an archfey, or the fiend. So, and, you, you, so you have the unsealy court. The, the, uh, the Cthulhu or, you know, the devil. The devil. The devil. <laughs> yeah. So uh, in, in a game that I, I was playing, that's not, not recorded here. I had a, I had a warlock and like at character creation, I went up, I'm asking the GM, I'm like, you know, what, what do you see as, as kind of options? Because I don't like to play evil characters all that mm. often. It, it's gotta be something that you know, I get built up. Um, you know, he's like, oh, I don't see, I don't see warlocks as anything that can be good. So you can't really have anything that that goes that route. So I'm like, hmm, I wonder what other people feel about this. And I know for the Spelljammer game that we that we did once, you had me as you know, I, I played a warlock for that, and you you allowed us to, to be something pseudo neutral. Yeah, more of a force of nature right. than. Then, then you know. So you went with the old one pack, right? Like a right. galactic intelligence. Kind but, of? but you know, totally. I totally uh, ripped off from Marvel, the the Eternity Entity, mm -hmm. which is basically a, you know a humanoid silhouette made of basically dark matter, space, and stars mm -hmm. kind of deal. And and you know, so 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 that was kind of um, what we went with. I think you went with Pack Blade. Uh, yeah, and uh, you know my—I you know, don't know if we went, delved into it or not, but my idea of when you summon your pack weapon is it's actually made of that same stuff, you right. know, the stars yeah. and the darkness. Oh, the sport. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, sport. Right. Sport. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's what I remember about yeah. the most. Well, and the and the the stars and darkness was pretty yeah. cool, but so you know, so yeah, why can't there be a good one? I guess you know it crosses into the point of it's a if it's a good thing that it. It tends to go to like a, a religion and a deity kind of deal, but like you know, so is it that uh, you know you have to you know is it that like some beings are too great to actually be patrons? Like would that like blow the person up if they like try to <laughs> be like here is a slither of my pa <laughs> oh, man again? Oh, no. I popped into the b right, person so, balloon. So you know we, we we've all read the books, but it says you know uh, a warlock is defined by a pact. With an otherworldly being, uh, sometimes the relationship between a warlock and a patron is is like that of a cleric and a deity, though that the beings that serve as patron for warlocks are not gods. So, all right, so you technically can't have it as as a full on god, but there still can be greater beings. Yeah, you just need um, you just need the right filters and funnels. Yeah, so, so, like a solar of some some deity might give you the power and be like, hey, you know, my god rang me up and said I got to do something. So uh, here, pinky swear on this. Yeah, pinky right, like, swear oh, on this magic sword. What? What about <laughs> um, what, what about having a a pact with a an, uh, you know, an ancient silver dragon, uh, silver dragon? You know, mm -hmm. they're 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 a goodly being in the world. I think they're you know in the middle of the road spectrum alignment wise. So I mean, you could definitely definitely go that kind of route if dragons have the ability to achieve that. Uh, that status yeah well i you know the wonderful thing about warlocks is is warlocks are wonderful things yes they're very they're very ambiguous about you know the wording of things and what they are and like and and granted yeah if a demon can like they don't actually say what kind of fiend per se but if a fiend can grant you uh powers as a warlock yeah why not and, and some other kind of elder being like a dragon or uh or a solar or even, um, you know, not necessarily good or evil, or but the you know the oldest of the Moldrons, you know, the, they're going to mm. all have their own purpose for you, their own machinations going on, and you know, it's just their motivation is different. Yeah. So yeah, you could absolutely do that. In, in my opinion, you know, there, there's other things, and there might be even other things that we're not. I'm just not thinking of right, right. now. So so you know, we're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna create another. You know, patron. You know, here we're going to talk about the philosophy. Just talk about the philosophy behind it. But you know, well, in, major thing first is get rid of the word warlock. That's like big but, negative juju. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean like you, you're you either do, like this biker dude or uh, 
yeah. at life all at life all biker or you know it, it's you know warlocks and witches are you know generally it's just a bad connotation yeah. so you, you gotta think of a name for yourself that you can tell people peace lock i'm a peace lock peace lock <laughs> peace lock <laughs> love lock but lo looking at at the at the core mechanics of what the class is so putting this the name aside you know you get your invocations which none of them really well, a lot of them have creep factor well i mean they some might they might have some of them that's creep factor but like okay you know the ones that either grant you a spell or grant you a spell at will that's just additional spell cast or, or the one that gives you the skills what is it devil's tongue or something like that um it grants two two uh, proficiency with two skills. Oh, beguiling influence. You Begu gain you gain perception and uh, de deception and persuasion. So I mean, that's just you know that that could just be like a silver tongue. You know. Well, yeah, exactly. That's my point. There's definitely ones that you could reflavor yeah. a little bit. Life drinker. I mean, first off, it doesn't even actually give you hit points back. So I mean, I don't like that name in the first place. But you know, life drinker does extra damage. It should just be like a holy aura or a smite. It, what kind of damage is it? Does it necrotic? Necrotic. Yeah, and you could you could totally go uh, yeah, just radiant with that if make you want to. Right. <clears throat> um, you know, so I mean, you've got you've got a couple things that do that that do scream. Oh, you know, this is this is this is kind of evil evil here. But you know, it, it those are the things that fall in the options of things. The rest of it is just you know, kind of spellcastery with the the stuff. I mean, other than your otherworldly patrons, you're getting Mister Mystic Arcanum is all you're getting between your eleventh and seventeenth abilities. Um, you know, and then when you actually look at your otherworldly patron, you get an expended spell list and then one, two, three, four abilities. So it wouldn't be hard. To just say, you know what? Let's let's make a a solar pact. Let's make a dragon or you know a dragon so pact. Are, are there things you would shy away from? Like, okay, it's a solar pact. Can they have healing or no? Like so. Hmm. Like, well, I, I might I might allow them to like heal their own wounds, or I, only be able to well, heal. No, others. Spell, we're talking about a spell list though. We're so there's a spell list, and I don't I think it could be appropriate that they get. Um, a cleric domain as their spell list based on the nature of the solar similar to the favored uh favored, favored soul, soul yeah. in the modifying classes on the uh yeah on the, the, uh, unearthed the unearthed account and, and, and again these are choices these aren't you get it right yeah you know you have to they still have to choose that yeah they're just choices that are now part of your spell list that you yeah. can choose now rather than um the sorcerer you just get them with the favored soul yes yeah, that one's really nice. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, if you pick life because it's a solar of uh, Thander or whatever that really awesome elven deity is, you know, that kind of, you know, life. So I pick life, so I get cure and whatever. It's fifth level slot. I'm also at curing for sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, however yeah. many spells you get so, for that so, slot. So, yeah, I mean, that, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, you know, you only get, what is it, four slots, five slots at, at your highest so even if you are taking cure, you're really, you know, limiting limiting your choices. Um, yeah. Well, that, that being said, though, but the nice thing about warlocks is you always cast them at the maximum yeah, level. That is yeah, true. Which eventually becomes fifth. So I mean, yeah. that's a really powerful healing spell when you cast it. Uh, so um, <laughs> sorry, I don't do hang hang nails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're not mortally wounded or have a sword in your gut, I'm not gonna help you. <laughs> Oh, you sprained you sprained your ankle. Come back to me when when your leg's falling off. <laughs> yeah. or has falling off. Yeah. Um, so I, I could see that as one of the options. You know, pick a pick a cleric domain. Mm -hmm. uh, pick pick that spell list. Yeah, I mean that would be a really easy, fast and dirty. You know yeah. what 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 goes with this thing? Maybe a little too powerful based on some of the spells available. I don't know. I'd have to look at it first before mm -hmm. I was going to like commit to it. So well, I mean, you'd only get it. You'd only get it up to fifth level spells. You you would ta you top max out okay yeah uh, well no nah, you can go all the way it's part of your arcanum you pick them I well yeah you so. just pick the ones that make yeah sense. so you could choose you could choose to have them but you know ag again too like you still have to choose those slots it's not like you're getting them like the favorite soul mm -hmm. so you know e even though like even if you had the life domain it, as your spell list it doesn't actually mean anything unless you start choosing spells from there so you know I I think it's fine yeah they just become available to you. And uh, the spell list for the warlock is kind of, it's poor without the with without the ones that are built into you getting them. Like right. when you get the, when you pick the archfey, you're getting all those spells, 
because you really need them because otherwise it's like the warlock spells they're all right but they're not they're not it's not as broad a category as some of the other spell yeah, castles and it was meant that way it's a it's a different build on how it works and, right. the, and the mechanics of it yeah you know, so and then you you would have to you know, obviously what it, it's only three is it only three levels where you actually get something from being a warlock pack uh, yeah, no, I feel like there's four. There's the initial one. It's one, one, six, ten, and fourteen. And, yeah, fourteen. Okay, yeah, there's one. the initial one. Whatever your made their thing yeah. is going to be. Yes. Okay. So yeah, one, one six, six, ten, fourteen. Yeah. So, so you really just have to come up with four special abilities. Mm -hmm. The first one is kind of weenyish and weak, depending on what you go with. Like, like the the, the well, it can be one. pretty amazing. Like the the old one is I'll telepathy. The, the, right. The, the fiend uh, is, you know, when you reduce a a creature that has zero hit points, you gain temporary uh, te temporary hit points equal to your charisma modifier plus your warlock level. Uh, the great the great old one is you know telepathy within thirty feet. Um, and the arch fay, and that's is, a big difference. One's an obvious well, yeah. combat, yeah, and the other one is really role play interaction. Yeah, well, yeah, and the, the arch fay one's like a, a charm or something. So they don't yeah. they don't follow that. Mechanism there, yeah, there's no from formula that, fr from that respect. I mean, comboed with the spell list, I'll have to look at it. But comboed with the spell list, it might that might be how it's augmented. Well, I I suspect if you look at them, depending on the level, they get a certain ability. It will kind of determines like you know, like the fiend one at first level is combat, but the the next one, sixth level, is utility. Mm -hmm. you, you know, because it's the dark one's blessing where you basically get the role. You, you basically have bardic inspiration on yourself once a day or yeah. something. Yeah. Whereas um, the great old one, that's where they get the, um, the entropic ward. So you, you can, can you can force you can turn an enemy's an enemy's failed strike into good luck for yourself. When a creature makes an attack roll against you, you can use your reaction to impose disadvantage on that roll. If the attack misses you, your next attack roll against that creature has advantage. If you make it before the end of your next turn, which that's pretty so, mechanically, that's pretty interesting. I yeah. didn't realize they had that ability. Yeah, it's once per long rest. So uh, short again, or long? On the, but, oh, short or long? Yeah. Okay, then that one's really good. So. When they give you something, it's like, oh, long rest. You're like, oh, I don't feel like it was that awesome. <laughs> but yeah, that's yeah. good. Short or long rest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you just have to come up with some thematic things for you know a get good patron. And if you want, just snag some of these and just mix and match them. Just you know, keep in mind the balance factor. There's, there's got there. There just can't be like, well, I'm just going to take all the combat ones and relist them as good, and yeah. it's going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah. That that could be problematic. <laughs> yeah. We, so uh, we've had this problem before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So there is, you know, there's a balance factor. So just, you know, interaction, you've got the uh, the exploration and you've got the combat. So just mm -hmm. like a mix of those based on what you see out of the four abilities for all the three ones that are available. That's kind of like a nice mix. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, obviously if you pick the chain. I, I think if I was going to build it, like the way I would do it is I would actually list the three pa patron types. I would list their four abilities for each one, and then I would try and categorize each one. Right. You know, based yeah, off sum of, up with a word or two, right? Yeah, you know, exploration, combat, interaction. And and, and just to kind of like see, like I can look across the line and see, oh, okay, there is a pattern here, right. or, or there or there isn't, because, you know, fifth edition is a lot art, as much art as science. Yeah, well, <laughs> if you don't see a pattern there, add the spell list. For each one of those and then say all right well this is a lot of avoidance assistance spells like yeah. i think archfey you get invisibility and a few things that yeah are really more about en not enchantment hurt. charm yeah, illusion, enchantment charm would, illusion. Would make sense. so that's also something to consider fiendish is going to be a lot of like i blow shit up i'm pretty sure yeah it's all it's it's a lot of fire fire spells burning hands command blindness deafness scorching ray fireball fire shield flame strike um, so they're heavy the, hitters. Pretty yeah. Whereas the great old one is is all like the creepy stuff: dissonant whispers, Tasha Sidious laughter, detect thoughts, uh, clairvoyance, dominate so, beast, of psychic large damage, black tentacles, domination, and madness. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> all so there's stuff. themes to this. So you know, it's really easy if you're cleric. Uh, like if a, if it's from a god, it's like a yeah. solar god, uh, well, a, a god's solar. Um, then you just say, oh, well, this is what I'm about, so this is what my solar is about, so this is the kind of things that my spell should be thematically about. Right. Unless, unless you're just going to go straight domain. But like I said, I'd want to look at the, the domain compared to the actual thing, you know, first through 14th um, archetype 
Oh, and that too, it's got to, and it's got to match the Patreon too. Like, yeah, yeah, like them, thematically. I mean, you could do it whole cloth if you wanted to, but you know, looking at the domains would be the first way to go, like you said. Right. Uh, you know, yeah. I, I, I always prefer the fast and dirty method. Over, oh yeah, you know, doing all the work, when making something. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Whatever is actually there that you can take and say this is appropriate, and I'll just rename it and maybe tweak Beg, it. borrow, and steal, baby. Yes, <laughs> wherever we can. So I think that's a good start, and that's yeah. that's a total sellable idea, especially when it, you know pick a different name than Warlock. Um, All right, so let's 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 favored put one or let's let those guys in the comments below help us ah, build yes. <laughs> a a good Patreon. Well, I mean, and 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 discuss. You know, do you do you think that the the Warlock as it's as it's presented is something that can have a good Patreon? Oh, one one point with that. Uh, one of my like initial things against the Warlock having a good patron was well. That's where they get their power and they're supposed to be kind of like evil and shady. I'm like, well, the wizard is kind of balanced with the warlock and they don't have to be evil and shaded to be awesome. So why does that like one class have to do it? So it's like, well, it doesn't. It's just well, the, it's the, pa it's the not... paladin used to have to be good. He doesn't have to be anymore. And there's no so balancing does... factor because the actual you actually have an evil patron has nothing to do with your character. It does. There, there's mechanically nothing going on there. It's just got the creep, uh, like a lot of the powers and things have a creep factor or yeah. like a dark aspect to them. So I want to, I want to play an evil character that's a warlock who has a good patron who's trying to get him to become a good guy. That could work out. I think, I think that'd be an awesome character to play. You're, tr you're chafing at the bonds of, uh, oh, you know, goodness. maybe the solar, <laughs> solar saved your life or something. Cause you're <laughs> every time you, every time you go to do something dark or evil, you like the. You hear the the holy choir play in in, in, in your mind. Uh, like, ah, he's gonna steal my soul if I do this bad thing. I, I, th I think it'd I'm be a get fun an imprisonment spell slammed down on my head if I don't do this nice I, thing. I think it would be a fun character to play. Maybe the soul are you know you know saw something in a divination that you know this character would be at the right place at the right time, and he screwed up somewhere and would have died. Before he would have been at that point, so he says, "Look, now, now he's unwillingly helping old ladies cross the street." <laughs> I, I, th I think it, I think Man, be, I could be charging for this service. <laughs> this solar just does not know I economics. Really, yeah, yeah. I really <laughs> want to just take her purse and push her in front of the bus, but no, I got to cross the street. Well, I mean, like you know, the the, the character arc is like, you know, the, the guy just wanted to live, so it's like, all right, well, I have to, I have to serve this, this essentially good agent so every once in a while i got to do good stuff for him so that i because i, I get to live but on you know unbeknownst to him the solar is trying to manipulate him and seeing the benefit of his goodly actions to try and get him to willingly be good i, mean, I just think I, I like it it's good i think it puts it puts a lot of really tough onus on the dm to put you in those situations to actually make your character rethink his life and, but and i want to do good i, mm -hmm. I I think those are the kind of things that make for spectacular campaigns. Well, yeah, I'm so. just saying it's 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 more work to do that for the DM. Uh, well, I mean, just you make can, it the low low work, low work. You can you can work with your DM when you've got you know ideas. I mean, I've I've you know, I've had stories where I've said, okay, well, this is this is the story arc I see for my character. Here's a couple suggestions of what I'd li like to see happen in this and that. See if you can work them in. That, and I think Dave's just saying that's a big session zero. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my point is right. Like, so you have to lay that all out and then think about like you have to think about this character is evil. Why is he evil? What's his motivations for being evil? And what is it? What is it that's going to actually touch him in his heart? Yeah, maybe to he's make just him trusting, change. and that's why he always acts suspicious and expects the wrong things out of people so he clearly a, a sociopath manner. type character this is not going no to no it. not at all no. you know yeah you know, so it's, it's got to be someone that's morally ambiguous to begin with so if you've got someone who, who's swayed. gonna you know greedy you know is or, or selfish you know you can find ways to essentially have the character get what he wants through the goodly actions and he realizes that he he doesn't need to go that route he was doing the the dirty stuff before getting small small pittance well see i look at it the other way is where you expose that character you're really start exposing that character to to the consequences of his actions he's never been saying like he, he, like when you're saying like i, I don't I, I don't like the the, the all the all carrot approach to that because it's almost like He's not being good to be good anymore. It's because oh, okay, I can be good and I still get the stuff. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, but being good is also a lot of times is about choosing not to get the stuff for the right reason. Well, I mean, I was giving you the the the, the quick and easy way out. 
but you know, you, well, that's not going to make. But, it but, but we're talking about a really complex character true, concept. True. True. So I wouldn't want to make it quick and easy. I would want to make it like if you're gonna if you're going for the role play factor, I would really want to get story investment and go, you know, this is you know what does it take to what does it take to turn you know this this evil character good? Mm -hmm. uh, you know what's going to be enough? You know, or maybe he wasn't that evil to begin with. So you like you have to figure these things out, right? And then you can, then you can kind of move forward from there. Is it just really a guy that does bad things to get what he wants because he doesn't know, he doesn't care about the consequences and he never thinks of the consequences? And he's not there to pick up the pieces when they happen, right? But what mm -hmm. happens when he has to see? It, it, what happens when he has to see? You know, the little girl crying over over her her mom's corpse, right. you know, or you know, children going hungry. You know, you know, may and maybe this, you know, this is like a good place for a cutscene where he goes back to his childhood of being hungry, and that's why he does what he does because he never wants to be like that again. Right. But he's but, just perpetuating the cycle. Yeah, right, right. He's not thinking about, oh, wait a minute, I'm not going hungry now, but they are, and it's directly because of my actions. Yeah. Uh, you know, so like if if I'm going to go into moral into this deep moral uh, territory with role play, and then I I really want to go, I'm in full immersion. <laughs> I don't want the easy glossed over version I, okay. I you know i want i want the intrinsic you know like really heart-wrenching and and raw kind of emotional stuff. well that, that that's where that's where my um, my mind initially was but when it's like oh you're gonna add so much work to the dm I'm like okay well there are easier methods to go i mean yours is definitely a, a better story and you know definitely reaches out but it it does require you know more setup more work well i was just saying i'm not averse to it i'm saying yeah, you, know, so, you know, sometimes we put forth ideas, uh, you know, in these videos, and 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 people sometimes misconstrue like when we say like in the barbarian video or in the politics video, everyone's like, oh, you can do a barbarian. Like, <laughs> God damn it, we didn't say you can't do a barbarian. All we said is it's more difficult, and you have to use your goddamn head and think about it before you make that character, and you can't be kicking in the door and just killing everything. It doesn't work in that campaign. But yes, you can be a barbarian. We know that. <laughs> And ran. <laughs> All right, Dave. <laughs> don't hold back anymore. Tell us what you really feel. You do not know how many comments are implied to, but you could do it. Man. Yes, that's what we essentially said. I know. <laughs> Tell me I how the, you really feel. <laughs> I did the same thing. I replied to lots of them. A couple of times, like I started doing stuff in all caps, and I'm like, no, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, so like there is like an easy way to do it, there's a hard way to do it. And, you know, sometimes you can find it in between. And, and you know, in this video, I wanted to make sure we put it all out there. I mean, they'll still put it in there and be like, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so go ahead and put your comments below. Uh, whether you whether you like the idea of a, a warlock with a goodly patron, uh, if you want to put suggestions and ideas, you know, you know the deal. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Yeah, you can also. Uh, I don't know. Follow us on Facebook, and what, and also I just want to say real quick, if you you know if you want guys want to see us do some good patrons and over on the website, let us know too. That sounds like my job, and uh, you can also start this conversation up over on our Reddit site. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.